Sutra. At that time, the division bodies of Earth Star Bodhisattva began gathering in the palace of the Chayashrim Shaheven from millions of inexpressible, inconceivable, immeasurable, ineffable, limitless asakyas of wounds. They came from wherever hells are found. Due to the spiritual powers of the first come one, each came from his own direction and was joined by thousands of billions of Nayutas of those who had obtained liberation from the path of karma. All brought incense and flowers as offerings to the Buddha. Those groups who came were irreversible from Anuttara Samyak Sambuddhi because, because they had been touched and transformed by Earth Star Bodhisattva. For long as they had wandered in birth and death, undergoing suffering within the six paths without even temporary respite. Now they had reached various levels of sagehood due to the great compassion and devils of Earth Star Bodhisattva. They felt joyful as they arrived at the Chajashrim Shaheven and gazed at the first Kaman, their eyes not leaving him for a moment. Commentary Chapter 2 The Division Bodies Gather The Earth Star Sutra consists of three rows and a total of 13 chapters. This is the second chapter. Division Bodies How does a body divide up? Division bodies can be said to be divided. Divide spirits. It can also be said to be divided natures or divided minds. Why are they called divided spirits? It is because bodhisattvas have a kind of spiritual sense or intuition. When they connect with that spiritual sense, all prayers are answered. This kind of spiritual sense resembles a thousand reflections of the moon in a thousand ponds of water. 10,000 miles of clear sky across 10,000 cloudless miles. With a thousand pools, there are a thousand reflections of the moon in these bodies of water. The moonlight on these pools is the spirit, as well as the nature, or it can be said to be the body or the mind. Because there are bodies of water, there are reflections of the moonlight. Without bodies of water, the moon remains essentially undivided. Where there is a body of water, there is moonlight. Does that mean a portion of the moon is there in the water? No, nevertheless, water allows moonlight to show. Therefore, it is said a thousand reflections of the moon in a thousand ponds of water. 10,000 miles of clear sky across 10,000 cloudless miles. If 10,000 miles of land have no clouds overhead, then 10,000 miles of land is bright and sunny. Earth star bodies at vast division bodies originally do not exist. Why do we say there are division bodies? Because of living beings' conditions, there are division bodies. What are these division bodies like? Let me give you another example, another simple analogy. Division bodies resemble photographs. It starts with one person. After taking a picture, a picture comes out. So the image of the picture has no ability, no spiritual sense, and no life. However, the division bodies of Earth, Star Bodhisattva, are divisions of his body, which are the same as his original body. There are billions of billions of division bodies. Earth Star Bodhisattva's division bodies are such that when he sees a place with hells, he sends a body to that hell to teach and transform living beings. Where everywhere throughout the three thousand great thousand worlds, to every place and every corner with hells, he sends division bodies there to teach and transform living beings. Because Earth Star Bodhisattva has made vows to teach and transform living beings in the hells. His division bodies are everywhere, they are hells. This is what it means by division bodies. Gathering is returning, which means the divided bodies have all came back, coming back together, gathering together. 
at that time from billions of inconceivable is this state to be imagined inexpressible is the number with language immeasurable ineffable limitless as some years of warmth from everywhere from wherever hells are found division bodies of earth star bodhisattva began gathering in the palace of the charashim shah heaven because wherever there are hells there is a division body of earth star bodhisattva there are countless earth star bodhisattvas therefore there are that many earth star bodhisattvas gathered together at the heaven of 33 due to the spiritual powers of the first come one because of shakyamuni buddha's awesome spiritual power each division body of earth star bodhisattva came from his own direction and was joined by thousands of billions of Najutas of those who had obtained liberation from the path of karma. Division bodies of earth star bodhisattva and these living beings all brought incense and flowers as offerings to the Buddha. Those groups who came with earth star bodhisattva were irreversible from Anuttara Samyak Sambuddhi because they had been taught and transformed by earth star bodhisattva. Because of the Bodhisattva's teaching and transformation, they forever attained irreversibility from the state of unsurpassed, proper and equal right enlightenment. They, for long ends, had wandered in the current of birth and death, floating up and sinking down, resembling waves, dying after being born and being born after dying. Birth and death in cycles like tides, they underwent immeasurable suffering within the six paths without even temporary respite. Because of the great compassion and devout of Earth Star Bodhisattva, I will not become a Buddha until the hells are emptied. I will only attain body after all beings have been saved. Those individuals had reached various levels of sagehood, such as first stage, second stage, third stage, fourth stage of heart and other stages of sagehood. Now they felt great joy as they arrived at the Chajashim Shah heaven and gazed at the first come one, their eyes not leaving him for a moment. They gazed at Shakyamuni Buddha with one heart and mind, without closing their eyes for a moment. This is an act of supremely earnest respect. Sutra at that time the world honored one stretched forth his golden colored arm and wrapped the crowns of all the division bodies of earth star bodhisattva masattva gathered from billions of inexpressible inconceivable immeasurable ineffable limitless asakya yasa bones and said i teach and transform obstinate beings such as these within the evil walls of the five turbidities causing their minds to be regulated and subdued so that they renounce the deviant and return to the proper. But one or two out of ten still cling to their bad habits. From, for them I again divide into thousands of billions of bodies and use numerous additional expedient means. Those with keen rules we will listen and immediately believe. Those with good rewards we respond to exhortation and strive to succeed. Those who are dim and dull will only return after being touched for a long time. Those whose karma is heavy will fail to show any respect. My division bodies take across and liberate all those different kinds of beings. I may appear in a male body. I may appear in a female body. I may appear in the body of a god or dragon. I may appear in the body of a spirit or ghost. I may appear as a mountain, a forest, a stream, a spring, a river, a lake, a fountain, or a well. In order to benefit people, I use all these ways to save beings. I may appear in the body of God Chakra. I may appear in the body of Lord Brahma. I may appear in the body of a wheel turning king. I may appear in the body of a lay person. I may appear in the body of a national leader. I may appear in the body of a prime minister. I may appear in the body of an official. I may appear in the body of a bishu, a bishuni. 
and no passive taka and no basica and so forth after the body of a hero and a heart a practical buddha or a bodhisattva in order to teach and rescue being it is not that i appear to them only in the body of a buddha commentary at that time shakyamuni the world honored one stretched forth his golden colored arm and rubbed the crowds of all the division bodies of earth store bodhisattva masattva gathered from billions of inexpressible inconceivable immeasurable ineffable limitless assam chaos of worms using one arm to wrap the crowds of all these division bodies of earth store bodhisattva masattva is the buddha using the as you wish body a spiritual penetration that makes wishes come true although there is only one arm it can transform into hundreds and thousands of arms the buddha used it to wrap the crowds of hundreds of thousands of millions of billions of earth store bodhisattvas at the same time and said i teach and transform obstinate beings such as these within the evil wombs of the five turbidities the five turbidities are the turbidity of kampa the turbidity of views the turbidity of afflictions the turbidity of beings and the turbidity of lifespan who are the obstinate beings perhaps it is you perhaps him or her it is anyone who is obstinate anyone who does not listen to the teachings and anyone who is always naughty and does not follow the rules the obstinate beings are those who do not observe the rules in fact who prefer no rules for example someone tried once asked me why are there rules you can tell that even this tried would rather be free of any rules which is a result of under the restrictions of rules thus the ones will not willing to follow rules are the obstinate beings they are so obstinate that they do as they please it is not easy to get these obstinate beings to voluntarily obey causing their minds to be regulated and subdued what does it mean by regulated for example american cooking places no emphasis on seasoning this regarding the flavors however chinese cooking especially focus on regulating the flavors using saltiness sweetness bitterness spiciness to modify the flavors until the food becomes very delicious this is the meaning of regulated for example at the time of the city states yi ya was an expert at creating delicious dishes by mixing sour bright flavors sweet flavors bitter flavors and spicy flavors therefore mencia said yi ya understands what my mouth wants yi ya was a famous imperial chef for the imperial in ancient china subdued means submission voluntary obedience without objections no matter what drama you speak of they listen and accept all buddhist teachings without a bit of doubt or objection this is being subdued it is not that there are no new arhats that no one is enlightened during the 500 years after the buddha's nirvana actually someone can become enlightened at any place and any time and a heart can be anywhere and at any time however an enlightened arhat should avoid displaying spiritual powers or interfere with others business for example india drama masters muo tong and chu fa lang in china had spiritual powers even bodhidharma the patriarch who was born thousand of years after the buddha's nirvana or elder master su yun mc cloud who is a contemporary and preeminent chinese monk are all arhats bodhisattvas not only are they arhats they are at the state of bodhisattvas the same with binaya master hong yi and elder dharma master yin kuang of recent times elder dharma master yin kuang is commonly recognized as the manifestation of christian bodhisattva in china 
After the Buddha entered Nirvana, China has had many individuals with great virtue. Even 500 years, 1,000 years, 10,000 years after the Buddha entered Nirvana, anyone who truly cultivates according to the Buddha's teachings will reach sagehood, will become enlightened. So that they renounce the daring view and daring knowledge and return to the proper view and proper knowledge. But one or two out of ten still cling to their bad habits. They have not completely removed them yet. For them, I, Shakyamuni Buddha, again divide into thousands of billions of bodies and use numerous additional expedient means, setting up many, many Dharma doors. Those with keen roots, meaning people with deep and profuse gurus, will listen and immediately believe. They are brilliant and sharp and have much wisdom. Once they hear the Dharma spoken, they believe it. Those with good rewards will respond to exhortation and strive to succeed. Maybe they have done good deeds in their past lives, planted causes that lead to favorable consequences. They will respond to the ego bleeding to succeed. Ego bleeding is not like persuading someone just once. It is like when we have the, the intention to deliver someone. To salvation, we do not just try once and give up. If it does not work on one try, we try again. If it does not work the second time, we keep trying. For example, for people living far away, you need to write more letters telling them about the Buddha Dharma. For people living close by, you should interact with them more often and explain the Buddha's teachings to them. Volunteer to convert people instead of being converted. For instance, originally you wanted to convert someone to believe in the Buddha, but then he pulls you into Christianity. Originally you were going to convert people to Buddhism, but you end up being turned by others and start believing in Catholicism. This is about being converted. If you can convert others, you have some power of concentration. If you are converted by others, you have no power of concentration. So eager bleeding means not being lazy. For example, we can think about friends who are good to us and which relatives are very kind and then encourage them to study the Buddha Dharma. So, Eager bleeding is not about persuading once only, but persuading multiple times. If this time I did not encourage enough so that you understand, I will do it again and again. In other words, volunteer to convert others into believing in Buddhism and continue to do so until they become Buddhas. Vows are fulfilled that way. Those who are dim and dull, lacking in wisdom, will only return after being touched for a long time. A long time means a long period of time, not merely once, twice, three times or five times. Eager bleeding is about the number of times, whereas a long time can mean two days, three days, five days, one month, two months, three months, five months, one year, two years, three years or five years time to convert you. I will remain committed to a long-term goal to teach you, persisting until you believe in the Buddha. This is about teaching someone a long time until he or she returns, such as taking refuge with the Triple Jewel. Those whose karma is heavy will fail to show any respect. They fundamentally do not respect Buddhism. All those different kinds of beings are unique. Every person has his or her own causes and effects, comic responses, and various differences to take across and liberate all these living beings. I, Shakyamuni Buddha, also divide into many division bodies. I may appear in a male body to cross over these living beings. I may appear in a female body. I may appear as a handsome man to save all women or I may appear as a beautiful woman to save all men. Because Buddhas also understand living beings' desires, i.e. living beings take pleasure in the subject of men and women, the Buddhas manifest and teach living beings according to their potential. 
I may appear in the body of a god or dragon to save gods and dragons. I may appear in the body of a spirit or ghost. Shakyamuni Buddha may appear in the body of a god with great awesome virtue or a great ghost king. I may appear as a mountain, a forest, a stream, a spring, a river, a lake, a fountain, or a well in order to benefit people. You see, Earth Star Sutra says a mountain or a forest, a stream, or a meadow are all transformations of Tathagata's Dharma body. Perhaps we are sitting on Shakyamuni Buddha's Dharma body right now, but we do not realize it. For example, the Buddhas made San Francisco appear a long time ago to benefit living beings, so that people, so that people may live here. Although the sutra only mentions how the Buddhas make mountains, forests, streams, and meadows appear, do not presume that the plains are not the Buddha's Dharma body. The plains are too. Perhaps they are sitting. We are sitting on top of the Buddha's Dharma body now. Why do we not see the Buddha's Dharma body? It is because we are like ants on the ground or ants on the human body that do not see the whole body of a person. Since we are like a tiny box on the Buddha's Dharma body, we do not know where his Dharma body is. In reality, we are on his Dharma body but do not know it. Shakyamuni Buddha may make a river, a pond, a spring, or a well appear. In general, why do Buddhas manifest such things? It is to benefit people. I use all these ways to save beings. The Buddhas make a mountain appear, so as you take a walk in the mountains and absorb some of the energy there, your body reserve comes forth. Or you may breathe some fresh air in the forest without realizing that this is the air of the Buddha's Dharma body. All air in the space either is the Buddha's Chi. Breathe in the Buddha's Chi and you will definitely become enlightened. Do not be attached to the idea that no one will become enlightened 500 years after the Buddha's Nirvana. Even 5,000 years after the Buddha's Nirvana, people will become enlightened. The only worry is that you do not truly cultivate. If you truly cultivate, I can guarantee you will definitely become enlightened. Or you can buy some insurance first. When you get enlightened, I will pay you a certain amount of money. Even though you bought insurance earlier, once you became enlightened, you would not want that money. So I would still end up with the profits. The Buddhas may manifest as a river so that you feel comfortable bathing in the river and then become enlightened. Shakyamuni Buddha may manifest as a pond or a well, drink the water from the well, and your commitment to this path grows day after day. These are all inconceivable states. In summary, every action and every move of the Buddha is to benefit people so that they are liberated. Shakyamuni Buddha may appear in the body of God Chakra while meditating. God Chakra comes to bow to you and say he is Chakra from the heavens. Why does he bow to you? He wants, to, wants you to develop solid commitment to this path and courageous vigor. He may appear in the body of Lord Brahma or the body of Will Turning King. A Will Turning King has various treasures. He has a flying vehicle, traveling in rockets to the moon takes a long time now. But a Will Turning King's flying vehicle can travel through the 3,000 great thousand worlds within an hour. Actually, not only to the moon and different planets, but he can reach any place just as fast. He also has a treasure of jewels, no matter where he is. When the wheel turning king says, I need money, the ground will break open with as much gold as he wants, as many jewels as you want. Why do these things occur? Because of his blessing, his soul. He owns everything in the world, including all the jewels which are in place 
for him. He also owns a treasure that is a horse that travels faster than rockets. He owns a treasure that produces women spontaneously. A real tennis age king likes women. He has such terrific blessings that he gets whatever he wants. Anything he wishes, he gets. He never experiences the suffering not getting what he wants. The Buddha makes an awesome body of a willow turning sage king appear so that all beings see the way he looks and bring forth their reserve for body. The Buddha may appear in the body of a lay person. Perhaps one of you, one of you lay people is a manifestation of Shakyamuni Buddha, but we do not know. Don't think it is impossible. Laity can be part of this too. He may appear in the body of a national leader, such as an emperor, or in the body of a prime minister, the highest official. He may appear in the body of an official. He may appear in the body of a member of the the, the fourfold assembly, a bhikshu, a bhikshuni, an upasaka, an upasika, and so forth, up to the body of a hero. An ahat, a pratika Buddha, or a Bodhisattva, in order to teach and rescue beings. Also, the Buddha appears in various bodies. None is not the transformation of living beings. It is not that Shakyamuni Buddha appears only in the body of a Buddha to transform and liberate beings.